We exchange things with each other all the time. But did you know that exchange is something that happens constantly within the body too? Exchange in our body makes sure a healthy balance is maintained. This is especially true in the body's central nervous system, the brain and the spinal cord, where the movement of molecules is carefully controlled. Control ensures the brain and central nervous system are protected from potentially harmful substances during such exchanges. In the central nervous system, there are two stages of control. The first stage is a tightly packed layer of cells called the blood-brain barrier. It acts as a kind of guard to the brain, selectively allowing some molecules into the brain, but stopping others from entering. The molecules that are allowed to enter the brain then face a second stage of control called active efflux, which ejects some molecules from the brain, but not others. Imagine the brain is an island and there are lots of people trying to get across to it, just like molecules trying to get into the brain. To get across to the island, you have to be in possession of a ticket, which is checked at the ticket booth. Anyone without a ticket has to return to the mainland, just as some molecules are unable to cross into the brain and are forced to stay in the blood. The ticket booth is the first barrier, the blood-brain barrier. But just because people are allowed to get to the island doesn't mean they can stay on the island forever. Security patrol the island to remove people after their ticket has expired. This security patrol is the second barrier, the active efflux. Although both these barriers are vital to a healthy body, they also make it more difficult to effectively treat diseases in the brain, including brain cancers. Brain cancers can either originate in the brain or spread to the brain from other parts of the body. In a specific type of lung cancer called anaplastic lymphoma kinase mutation positive non-small cell lung cancer, or ALK positive non-small cell lung cancer, as many as 60% of patients' tumours spread to the brain. Tumours that spread to the brain, also called brain metastasis, are particularly devastating to patients because they can result in loss of vital functions such as vision or movement, impact mental performance, or cause changes in personality and behaviour. Consequently, therapies that can cross these barriers and remain inside to treat tumours have become the subject of intense research. At Roche, we are committed to helping improve the lives of lung cancer patients, including those with cancers that are particularly difficult to treat, like ALK-positive non-small cell lung cancer.